Hi guys, Logsec and Obsidian are two services to take notes, but which one should you be using? To help you make an informed decision, I will explain the main differences between Logsec and Obsidian and will consider each criteria to see how these two tools suck up. Both Obsidian and Logsec store files locally on your device. Both applications store your notes using Markdown, meaning that you control the data and are responsible for looking after the data. So let's find out which one is better for you. For the user interface, as a pure note taken up, Obsidian's interface can be confusing. There are a couple of sidebars in the whole bunch of buttons that can get in the way of capturing text into your Obsidian vault. Once you understand the interface, this really isn't a problem. When working with text in Obsidian, there are two different modes you will switch between. Edit mode, where you write your text, and preview mode, where you can view the results of your markdown formatted text. Logsec offers a refined user interface that is easy to understand and pleasing to the eyes. Logsec wins this round. The only reason to choose Obsidian's user interface over Logsec is that the former is far more customizable. And for the outliner view, an outline allows you to identify related notes and points and Logsec allows you to work with a single idea in the outline. Logsec allows you to zoom in and out within a branch of the same bigger idea. While Obsidian doesn't have all the functionality as an outliner, it's a best option for notes or content that you want to be a free form. Logsec is outliner and Obsidian is a free text editor which can be used as an outliner when required. And for the graph view, while Logsec offers a good enough graph view, it sends nowhere near to the graph view on Obsidian. Obsidian's graph view looks better, gives you more filtering options, and is overall more useful. Obsidian has a far larger plugin directory that helps with the expandability of the app. And for publishing, if you want to publish your notes online to share your knowledge graph, Obsidian's is the better choice for you as it comes with Obsidian Publish option that lets you publish your notes with one click. And for backlinks and unlinked dimensions, Logsec shows you backlinks and link dimensions as the bottom of each page, which feels more natural than Obsidian's sidebar implementation. Furthermore, backlinks are far easier to miss in Obsidian if you don't keep the sidebar open all the time. And for the block reference and block embeds, Adding block reference and block embeds in Logsec is simple. You use double open parentheses and type to search the block you want to link. In Obsidian, you have to first add the link to the nodes and then use hash to embed headers and caro to embed blocks. Obsidian also makes it hard to see the origin of block references, as they are only visible in the sidebar. In Logsec, every reference block has a number next to it which shows that it has been referenced before, and you can click on the number to see the referenced page. Now for the pricing, Obsidian's pricing model is very interesting. Obsidian comes with three paid plans. The personal plan is free and requires no accounts or sign up. You can access plugins, API, and community support. The Catalyst plan is one-time payment of $25 plus. It includes early access to insider belts, special badges, and access to an exclusive dev channel. The commercial plan is for $50 per user per year, supporting commercial rights and priority support. So the app itself is actually free for personal use. You can download the app, point it at your notes stored locally on your device, and use it without paying a dime. Obsidian has a very clear monetization strategy by offering add-ons for purchase. There are currently two different add-ons available for Obsidian. Publish, which allows you to share your notes publicly via the web for $16 per month paid annually. Sync, which allows you to access your vaults on your mobile devices for $8 per month paid annually. Both of these services are well implemented and allow users who need them to support Obsidian's development. Note that these add-ons are not the same as the plugins, which are accessible in the free version. Like Obsidian, Logsec is free to use, but does offer a couple of options if you want to support the development directly. For $5 per month, you can get access to insider belts and special badges on the Logsec Discord server. 
There are also different sponsor levels that go up to $500 per month, which gets your logo on the readme file and the sponsor page of the website. It's not quite as clean as the Obsidian model, but seems to be working pretty well. Logsic appears to be well funded for now, but we are a little concerned about long term developments. So, choosing between Obsidian and Logsic depends on your business and your needs. If you need to have your knowledge management system available on multiple devices, you should consider Obsidian first. If you want more structure to your nodes, you may want to consider using Logsic first. Regardless of your choice, Obsidian and Logsec are superb apps for taking notes and organizing your projects. Both services will sync across multiple devices and you can customize your notes in all kinds of ways. Other than that, it's up to you. So yeah, that's it for this video. You can check the links in the description. That helps a lot. Thank you. So hopefully this video helped you out and yeah, bye bye.